humanity has been in a constant state of evolution. We are incredibly intelligent and this is backed up by various inventions and scientific discoveries. These discoveries can range from advanced research into different forms of medicine, inventions of new and complex machines and even the discovery of already occurring phenomena that was otherwise unknown. One of the biggest questions surrounding DNA is what causes it to work the way it does. For those that are not aware, every single cell in your body contains the same DNA code inside of its nucleus, and the nucleus itself works to act like the brain of the cell, and carries out the specific growth and functions needed to perform its specific job that is communicated via the strands of DNA inside it. Genetic modification is a controversial topic. There are many arguments for and against it. However, one thing that can be agreed on is that it has helped us to understand things about our body. Recently, it was announced that genetically modified T-cells have been observed destroying cancerous cells. The cells in question come from mice. The experiment showed researchers that these cells actually hunted for the tumor cells. Once found, it started the process of breaking them down. Scientists have now come forward and said that this is promising for humans. Although these types of experiments are frowned upon by some, it could help save many lives in the future. The scientists involved said they've seen a major resurgence in interest in reprogramming T cells to take down cancer cells. Many have been excited by this news as it could mean that trials could start on humans. Unfortunately, cancer is one of those diseases that affects many people. It's the second leading cause of death, second only to cardiovascular disease. In 2016, over 8.9 million people are estimated to have died from various forms of cancer. A question that many people ask is why haven't we cured cancer? Billions of pounds has been raised and endless amounts of man hours have been put into trying to find cures, so it's not an unfair question. Cancer is complex and it's not just one disease. There's over 100 that we know of so far, so it's very unlikely there's going to be one cure for all of them. However, scientists are working very hard, and every year there is breakthroughs that help us. So my question to you guys is what do you make of this? Do you think we should be doing these kind of experiments? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.